Now what we're going to do is, you can see how taking these number codes or these number patterns and applying them either as minor or as major can give you any style and type of music throughout history. If we can learn how to take these numbers and read it on the stack with music and then number the music, we can then decode the music into number patterns which then can be played on any single instrument. Right? Now, there are five basic instruments. And if you learn those five basic instruments, you can learn as many instruments as you want. I've learned to play 41 musical instruments because I learned these five basic ones. Okay. So the first one would be horns. So what's a good one to learn for horns? Trumpet. Trumpet. Now the trumpet has the exact same fingering as the valve trombone, uh -huh. and it has the same fingering as the tuba, and the same as the baritone, and the euphonium, mm -hmm. and the cornet and the flugelhorn. So how many instruments are we playing already just learning one horn? We've already learned the, the trumpet, the cornet, the flugelhorn, uh -huh. the euphonium, the baritone, the tuba, and the sousaphone. So right there is eight instruments right there. Now the trombone uses a slide, uh -huh. and the slide corresponds to the valves. Uh -huh. So if I can figure out how the valves and the slide correspond to each other, I can use this pattern uh, on the trumpet. Uh -huh to change it into the trombone pattern, and then I can play the trombone. And the trombone is also in the same key, B flat. And so I can learn a different slide technique, and now I've got the trombone. There's also a, a valve trombone out there, which has valves on it, and a slide. So you can play it using the cornet or the trumpet fingerings, and play trombone right away, and then get used to that big mouthpiece, and play on the baritone. It has the exact same length as the trombone, and is in the same range, and even has very similar sound. So you can switch between baritone and trombone because they have the same mouthpiece. Tuba and sousaphone have the same mouthpiece and it's huge. So you have the big one on the tubas and the sousaphone, slightly smaller one on trombone and baritone and euphonium, and then a smaller one on the trumpet, and then the tiniest is the French horn. And the French horn, when you play it, it's actually two horns. It's two horns coiled together. And normally, when you don't do anything with it and just use the three valves, it's in the key of F. But there's a slide on the side that if I pull that slide, it switches the horn to a B-flat horn, which is a shorter horn, and it has the exact same fingering as the trumpet. Mm -hmm. So now we can add in the French horn. So now we've got uh, ten yeah. horns that you can play by learning that one fingering pattern. Okay, So that's horns. What about woodwinds? So you already know how to play the saxophone, right? Okay, and then what else? Clarinet. Clarinet. Flute has the same fingering patterns as the saxophone, but it's in a different key. Yeah. Okay. Uh, clarinet has a, com has a different fingering pattern. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the flute and the saxophone both have what's called an octave key. Mm -hmm. So if you play the pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then That's you want to play it up, you just hold the octave key mm -hmm. and play the same fingering pattern, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen on the clarinet. Yeah. On the clarinet, what happens is they have what's called a register key, uh -huh. and it's only a half an octave. It's not a full octave. So you play one, two, three, four, five, and then you have to hold this register key and then put your fingers down, and it switches a half an octave, and then you've got another pattern. You come up <coughs> through that, five, six, seven, one, mm -hmm. and then for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the next octave is a different fingering pattern. Yeah. So there's actually one, two, three fingering patterns to play the same scale on the clarinet in the different registers, mm -hmm. in the different octaves. So the clarinet, by far, has probably the most complicated fingering pattern. Mm -hmm. Now, the bassoon. Have you ever seen the bassoon? Mm -hmm. ever I've at, heard of it. If you look at the bassoon, it's like a nightmare plumbing, man. It's uh -huh. like it's got, oh, I, yeah. it's got all the normal valves on the outside, but if you look at the back where the thumb is at, uh -huh. instead of having one button where the thumb is at, there's six buttons. Uh -huh. And then down here where this thumb is, there's a couple more. So there's like six valves that you have to play with just your thumbs. And so what happens is the bassoon has the same six basic holes mm -hmm. as the clarinet or the, as any other woodwind, mm -hmm. but it has a more complicated thumb pattern to, to get through. And again, it plays in registers. That is, it plays in half octave increments up and down mm -hmm. through the different so. registers rather than just one note that pops it up an octave. Uh -huh. So again, you would have to learn different fingering patterns for the same scale in different registers. But <clears throat> your 
soprano saxophone, your alto saxophone, your tenor exactly. saxophone, and your baritone saxophone all use the same type of reed. They're a little thicker, but the same type of reed that you blow on. Clarinet uses a similar type of reed, a single reed. But now when we get to the bassoon, the oboe, and uh, the bassoon and the oboe have what's called a double reed system. Now the oboe has a very similar pat fingering pattern to the clarinet. And it's kind of half saxophone, half clarinet. Kind of half and half. And it has two, two notes that are kind of unique to it. So again, once you learn this fingering pattern and you learn to blow on the double reed, you can, you can get that down. Mm -hmm. So in woodwinds, we've got basically three different basic keys with three different basic fingering patterns. Now it turns out there is one fingering pattern that's universal to all of them. Mm -hmm. And that is if you play just the six holes. Yeah. If all you use is th three fingers on one hand and, three, and forget all the other things and just play the six basic holes, the fingering pattern, which would be the key of D on the clarinet and the key of D on the alto sax, the key of D on the tenor sax, and the key of D on the flute, all have the same fingering. Although they produce different keys, they uh, different sounds, they have the same fingering pattern. So the D fingering pattern is universal. And that six-hole fingering pattern came from the bamboo flute. So the ba basic bamboo flutes are what they call um, reed flutes. Those guys were the thing. Now from those flutes came penny whistles, the recorder, the ocarina. <laughs> so again, when it comes to woodwinds, you're talking about another 20 musical instruments. If you play, learn to play the three basic fingering patterns, or that one universal fingering pattern, you can play flute, clarinet, recorder, bassoon, oboe, any woodwind that you want. They, that very similar fingering patterns, and they go at it the same way. They either have a double reed, or a single reed, or they're a whistle. Like a uh, recorder is just actually a whistle, right? It's like a bird whistle. And also there's the whistle that with a slide yeah. trombone, with a slide on it, works just like a trombone. There's also the ones with the holes on, which you call penny whistles, and penny whistles are, have six holes. Um, most of them, and some of them have a seventh hole, which is an extra fingering <laughs> to add it. But basically the rule's the same. If I hold all the holes closed and play that note, that's do. Exactly. Or the number one. And then, then I lift one finger, that's two. I lift the third finger, that's three. I lift a finger, that's four. And as I was saying to that lady that came through the door, the number of fingers that I pick up is always one less than the number I want. Uh -huh. So if I want to go from one to four, I'm going to pick up three fingers. Uh -huh. If I hold everything down and I want to go up five, I pick up four fingers. If I want to go up seven, I pick up six fingers. <laughs> That's basically. And if I'm in this position and I want to go up three, I still pick up two fingers from that whatever that position is. Mm -hmm. So I'm always picking up or putting down one one number less uh, fingers than the thing I'm doing, and that's basic woodwinds. Yeah. So now with woodwinds, you're talking about twenty or thirty. Yeah musical instruments. So just there with those two, we're up to almost 30, 30 instruments, <laughs> okay? Then you got strings, okay? Now strings come in two types. There are strings that are what we call tuned in fourths, which are tuned to here comes the melody. And there are strings that the disc from one string to another are tuned from one fifths. So they're either tuned in fourths or they're tuned into fifths. Now, let me show you why. If I go from this C to this G, that's a distance of one to five, right? But what if I were to take this C and put it up here? Now what's the distance? Fourths. Fourths. So if I take a five and stand it on its head, turn it upside down, I get a four. What if I take a four, I'm going from C to F now, and take the C and put it on top? That's right. So the inversion of a fourth mm -hmm. is a fifth. Mm -hmm. The inversion of a fifth is a fourth. Mm -hmm. So if some instruments are tuned in fourths and some are tuned in fifths, they're just upside down. Yeah. They're just literally the reverse of each other. Mm -hmm. So what you do on one instrument, say going this way to go on the strings, mm -hmm. on the other instrument you would go that way. Oh. <laughs> That's all. Mm -hmm. And if on this instrument I had to go up like this and then to the next string like that, on the other instrument, I'd go the other. The theory would be I'm going the other way. 
I'm doing the inverse reaction. Yeah. So let's go out, get up, let's get up just a second here. Get your chair and bring it over here. And we're gonna get on the internet here for a second.